Misery has become a part of life at the Panatina Evacuation Centre. The people here are struggling without the basic necessities. Do you have no water for us? Would you make an emergency truck to come over? The evacuees have formed their own committee to try and share what little they have. We don't have enough food right now. No supplies were made. The supplies we suddenly made yesterday were so small. One news has told the committee had to turn down some supplies because there wasn't enough for everyone. They feared fights would break out when tension is already high. There's more than 2,000 people in this camp, nearly a quarter of them under the age of five. Between them all, they have to share two toilets, and neither of those toilets have any toilet paper. What these pictures can't show is the smell. Children are instead using bushes outside. It's hardly surprising diarrhoea is rife and there are grave fears more serious disease will break out. The nearest health clinic is working around the clock to cope. Yeah, quite worried because um, um, now lots of them are coming and maybe um, more to come. Those in the evacuation centres can't return home because their houses were washed away. Those that are still standing don't have running water. Non-government organisations like World Vision are distributing what they've got, but they need more. It's still quite acute at this stage. Um, there's a shortage of supplies in town, and, uh, and NGOs and the government are doing their best to try and um, uh, get as much of those supplies to, um, to people who need it the most. It's clear from the evacuation centres that the need is great and unless things improve, the Solomon Islands will have a health crisis on its hands. Barbara Drever, One News, Honiara.